Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar where we will continue the strip down of this Audi A6 2.7T donor car. Now I have a bit of a confession because in the last episode I got something a little bit wrong. Well, okay, I'm actually just parting out this car, so you can't really get that wrong. Unless you break something you need, or I don't know, cut through a wiring loom that you might want to use. So no, I'm parting this out, so I don't really make a mistake. But if you're watching these videos because you want to work on your Audi A6, remove the core support and put it back, and you're using my uh, videos as reference, well, I better just show you something that I got a teeny weeny bit wrong. Now, do we all remember when I removed the core support or radiator support? Well, there was another part which I removed after I removed this plastic part, which is this bit. This metal frame is supposed to stay with the plastic part of the core support. Oops. Now if you remember, there was a small sort of a nut and bolt somewhere around here and another one here that uh, snapped off when I tried to undo them. I mean, they were rusty. Take a look at this. Snappy snappy. So I didn't actually have to undo those nuts because this frame actually sits behind the core support. Let's just turn this around. Yeah. Okay, there's the radiator and fan. And this framework is supposed to stay in there. But of course I snapped the bolts off, oops. Not to worry though, um, I can drill them out and I can put some new studs in there and put this back together again. So I still think this part here could be sold, not for much, but a couple of quid, but every penny helps. So I think I can still sell this bit on eBay. So should I have looked this up? Well, maybe. But I'm not putting this car back together again, I'm parting it out. And part of the fun of stripping down a car like this is, is learning along the way. You know, it's, uh, I'm, it's like I'm exploring the car, figuring it out. So, okay, I broke a couple of nuts and bolts, oopsie, no real harm done. So, uh, but anyway, if you are rebuilding your Audi A6, this metal frame stays with the plastic front core support, okay? <laughs> so anyway, with that out the way, uh, I think I'll just carry on stripping down this engine bay. I want to start pulling the intercoolers out and get rid of a lot of the bits and pieces either side of the engine, ready for when I can pull this engine out. Let's take a quick look at the intercoolers. One down there, one over there. Once we've pulled them off, I think we'll get on to removing some of the parts on the top of this engine. If we take a look underneath the intercooler, I'll just undo this hose clamp here. With the lower hose undone, and the top hose loosened, I should be able to pull this uh, intercooler off. That was easy. And now we'll do the same on the other side. Like Versace rich, spell it like Versace rich. 
Um, it's not good news. Um, one thing I found out is they're different on both sides of the car. I thought they might be like a mirror image or something, but they're not. So the hoses are different. If you can see, I'll bring the camera in in a sec so you can have a closer look. But this one here is damaged. So it looks like this Audi must have had a fender bender in its life and the tabs have snapped off. So I can't even use this one. As you can see, hoses are different on the top and the bottom of these intercoolers. Now this intercooler does look like it's in one piece. So all the tabs are there, nothing's snapped off. So I think this one's good. But this one, there should be a tab there. That's snapped off. If we take a look over here, there should be a tab here. Let me see if I can turn it around for you. Get a better look at that. Focus, there we go. See that tab? Gone, that's snapped off. And there's a big dent. I don't think the intercooler's ripped or damaged, but that dent is suspect. And I think there's another tab. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Another tab snapped off, which is that one there. So unfortunately, they're not going to work. You see, the plan was to use the intercoolers off this twin turbo and put one either side of the car. Up roughly like that, something like that. A bit higher up probably. But that was the plan. I don't think these are gonna work unless I come up with an idea of keeping the core, taking off the uh, plastic parts and then making some aluminium caps that are the same either side. But that's not going to be cheap. Hmm. Well that's taken the wind out of my sails. I think I'm going to have to look into these intercoolers a little bit deeper and come up with a solution, but I don't think they're going to work. Anyway, I'm going to put that to one side and i just carry on with the strip down of this um, engine bay because um, I've got to get this engine out. I think this just pulls off. Yep. And this panel should just pull off. Yeah, there's a, a clip there. And one in there, should be a metal clip. And these tangs clip into it. Yeah. Just noticed there's another one snapped off. Oh, great. Well, I think I'll pull the airbox out, but there's some hoses in the way, and there's some uh, electrical wiring as well. Um, I'm just going to remove this panel here, see where these go, and then I'll probably take a photograph of everything and label a few bits and pieces so I know where everything goes. With the cover removed, we can see that these hoses go to certain doodads and thingy-bobs. I have to figure out what all these are. Uh, a couple of clips. I think what I'll do with these is I'll undo the nuts. Oh, what's that? Another bodge. Yeah. See this? I don't think this is the right part. And they've snapped off the uh, the stud. Make it fit. Okay. Great. Anyway, I'll undo those, undo these hoses, and pull the airbox out. It looks like the airbox is held in with one bolt there. I'll just undo that now.
Okay, there's some sort of hose, small hose, underneath this one. That's why I can't remove this. Uh, I don't want to yank it or break it or anything like that. Oh, I'm going to leave it on for now. That side of the engine is all nice and clear now, so I'm going to remove all this lot here. I'll start with the expansion tank. So just a clip here to remove the hose. I think it looks like three screws, another hose down here, and this should just lift away. just sort of uh, cut like that and it just seems to be coming out the bottom of the expansion tank which is a bit like that I don't know what that does see just sort of dangles there like that I'll have to look into that a bit weird is for the clutch on the air conditioning pump which is about here so this cable goes through the engine bay and into the uh, the clutch unit in there I'll just remove the ABS pump Well, getting that ABS pump out was a pain, okay? It's out. Made a mess, but it's out. Now, I did notice there's a box, an electronic box or something, underneath this uh, frame rail. And it's uh, wired up to the loom. Don't know what it is, so I'm gonna take a photo of it, undo it, so I can get rid of a lot of this wiring out of the way. Not exactly sure what this is. I think uh, if I can pull it off the car, clean it up, and I might get some numbers off it, figure out what it is. Right, let's give this a quick clean. OK, 
Okay, giving it a clean, I could just about make out the lettering, but I should have looked at my own tags because um, I tagged the other end of these two connectors and it says uh, this one's aircon rad fan and this one is radiator fan, meaning this must be the fan control unit. See, it's good if you label your cable in as you're going along. So let's take a look at the carnage. Yeah, a bit of a messy one this one. I took the ABS pump out and, uh, well, you can't really help it. Got brake fluid everywhere. I have to just hose that down. But uh, at least it's all clear. The other side's all clear as well. I've just got to do a little bit of labelling. And I think that'll do. But this one wasn't fun. <laughs> I've got to say, but that'll do for now. Well, it just goes to show you that building your own supercar isn't always fun and games. Sometimes you can have an absolute pig of a job to do. And I've cut my knuckles and I've got brake fluid everywhere and th that wasn't fun, but it's done anyway. So I'm going to call this one uh, an episode, I'm going to call it done. So I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.